reading. Today is the 7th of December. Um, I'll be reading the devotion from Jesus Calling today, and then sharing a scripture from the book of Matthew, Hebrews, and 2 Corinthians. Uh, today's devotion reads, I am with you in all that you do, even in the most menial task. I am always aware of you, concerned with every detail of your life. Nothing escapes my notice, not even the number of hairs on your head. However, your awareness of my presence falters and flickers. As a result, your life experience feels fragmented. When your focus is broad enough to include me in your thoughts, you feel safe and complete. When your perception narrows so that problems or details fill your consciousness, you feel empty and incomplete. Look to me steadily in all your moments and all your circumstances. Though the world is unstable and in a flux, you can experience continuity through your uninterrupted awareness of my presence. Fix your gaze on what is unseen, even as the visible world parades before your eyes. We are fighting a battle, and I am so thankful for the companionship of the Holy Ghost, um, because this is, this is so true. The visible world does parade before our eyes, and then the spiritual world is before our eyes too if we're looking, um, but you have to look with your spiritual eyes. Um, the first scripture I want to share with you is in Matthew chapter 10, verses 29 through 31. This is a great, um, it's a great word play by our Savior. He says, Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than the sparrows. So the sparrows are worth X. Your heavenly father knows when they fall, when they die. He also knows how many hairs you have on your head. You are so much more valuable than the sparrows. Um, you are worth more than you could ever imagine. Let me assure you that the Lord does love you and he does know you. Just because you can't see his hand, or maybe you can, just because you can't physically see him, doesn't mean he's not there helping you along the way. Uh, the next scripture I'd like to share is in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 27, which says, By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. He had his spiritual eyes open, Moses, and uh, the Lord used him. He delivered his people through him, and what a wonderful testimony that is. The next scripture I'd like to share is in 2 Corinthians 4.18. This is the Apostle Paul. He says, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal. We choose what we see. We choose what we look at. Everything in life boils down to a choice. If you choose to look at the things that are spiritual, you're choosing to have an eternal perspective. Eternalize your thoughts. Look for his hand. Fix your gaze upon him. When you're going through struggles today or trials today or a tough time today, I challenge you to look to heaven. Fix your eyes upon him and ask him for help. The Holy Ghost is also called the helper because he will help you. He's also called the teacher because he will teach you how to handle situations, important truths or doctrines and how to live life happily. We must choose to open our eyes because the spiritual world is right before our eyes.
Come unto Christ this Christmas season. Look for your Savior's hand. Be a light unto this world. Today our Light the World initiative says that we are to feed the hungry. I would challenge you to take some canned food to the food bank. Or take food to, to somebody who you know is in need. Jesus fed the hungry. And so can you. I leave you my testimony that he lives and he loves you and he knows you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.